Hi there, I'm Ken Lammers. Welcome to Minor League Matters. And this week, we're well, this weekend, we're going to look at, you know, basically whatever's caught my mind, my eye over the last week. Uh, some of the little interesting things here and there. Um, and so, with that, let's get cracking. Okay, so we're going to start out with soccer. Uh, and uh, the big news of the week in soccer was Wigan Athletic, a Tier 3, three uh, team, beat Manchester City. Apparently this is not the first time that Wigan Athletic has done this in the FA Cup. Um, they, I think, two or three times have done it in the past. I've seen some articles say that once, but in the past, but I think some others have said too. Um, apparently, they are the giant killers, at least as far as Manchester City is, is uh, concerned, because um, you know the game is dominated by Manchester City, right? Absolutely dominated by Manchester City. Manchester City is out there running around. And first half, they're just all over them. And it's tied. It's like a lot of games you kind of see. You know, Manchester City, I'm sure, was playing, you know, their secondary and tertiary players. And Wigan was out there actually really trying. And so the first half is nothing, right? Nothing happens. The second half, uh, Man City loses one of his guys. So they're playing 10 to 11. Uh, red carded out. Um, and so... 10 to 11, they're going the whole time, and uh, they're still dominating Wigan. I mean, pretty solidly. And then comes the play, right? A uh, Man City player tries to do some sort of fancy kick or something, and the ball dribbles out behind him, and he, Man player is still running that way. Um, and this Wigan athletics guy, athletic guy, Grig, just comes zooming down. He, grab, he kicks the ball. There's a, uh, from the right side, there's another Man City player closing on him. Um, the goalie's the only person really between him and the goal. He kicks the Man City guy on the right slides to try to block it. It's to the left of the slide. Uh, the, uh, uh, the goalie dives left to try to block it. It goes around the goalie, and it hooks. I mean, it hooks in. It was a beautiful shot, right? Um, I, you're just not going to see him any better. And this Craig guy, he just stands there in shock. Like, oh my God, I scored on Manchester City. I scored on Manchester City. And he's just standing there with this just blank, shocked look on his face. And then, of course, his teammates hit him. Blam! And they're, they're all over him, right? But <laughs> it's... Um, it's funny watching his reaction because you could just see on his face, I scored. I scored. <laughs> and then Wigan, you know, just goes totally defensive, which is what any team's going to do in this sort of situation. Wigan goes totally defensive and holds off Man City to win in the FA Cup. Now, look, I know the big teams don't put their best people out and play their best games for the FA Cup. It's kind of a shame uh, because it is really kind of the only in-country playoff yeah, that they have. I know, though, that they all concentrate on being in the top of their leagues so they can go to the actual playoff, which is the Champions League, the next year. Uh, it's a weird system. But, uh, you know, it's fun to watch when teams like this do this. I mean, this is even more... Stunning than like last year when Cincinnati in uh, USL was beating teams in Major League Soccer in the United States. I mean, we're talking a higher level of uh, difference than than Cincinnati against these uh, MLS teams, and it's just fun. Okay, so other soccer news. Well, we've got here the uh, the Las Vegas lights are threatening anybody who buys a season ticket that they will make them take a jersey and probably make them wear it too, <laughs> which is a terrible threat and will probably drive down ticket sales something horrible. Uh, God, look at these guys here. That's a 
terrible uniform. I, I would say it's the worst ever that's not purposely done bad, uh, except for the fact that, you know, of course, the moment I say that, somebody will find something from Turkey or something that looks worse. But uh, it's a terrible uniform. And this is the a different version than what I saw before. It's The other one was just as bad or worse. Uh, and look at these poor guys up there on the stand. And the ringmaster's in the middle. You know, the bald guy, he's up there. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, on in the third ring we have, you know, he's up there doing the barking stuff, the barker. Uh, these poor guys that are there in the uniforms, they just do not want to be there. The guy on the right, I mean, who's got rictus, and then there's the two guys that are with the thousand miles stare. Uh, they're doing their duty, uh, but they don't want to be there. Um, okay, moving on. Soccer. Roanoke Rail Yard Dogs. They, uh, they're the only real story I've got this week. The Rail Yard Dogs have a seven, or is it eight? I eight now uh, game winning streak going on. By the time you see this, it may be broken. Who knows? But, uh, they're doing really well, despite the fact that they have this logo. Um, I really wish that they would sell the logos, uh, sell the jersey we've got down here below. That's kind of a cool jersey. The jersey they actually sell is a crummy blue and yellow weird thing with that dog on it. I want the jersey I'm seeing below here. That, oop, let me see if I can get on the camera. That jersey. Sell me that one. Okay, but good luck on your future endeavors. Hopefully you keep winning. Um, next. Okay, so you know, those of you who know what you're looking at can see that I am wearing a Kingsport Mets hat um, because this is my favorite out of all my uh, Appalachian League hats, uh, in the Rookie League, Appalachian League. I have a whole bunch of these teams near, near me. And this is my favorite hat out of it. It's old, it's comfortable, it's beat up. You can't exactly get the bill straight, but or you know the curve right. But it's just so comfortable, I don't care. And uh, I'm wearing it because once I'm able to buy Greenville Red stuff, I will get a Greenville Reds hat, and that'll be into that. Because while I am not, I don't live and die by the Reds like my dad does or my grandparents did. Still, there's a thing called loyalty. I will say though that uh, up here, see this. Uh, since they don't, they haven't got anything up where I can buy anything yet. I, uh, I made that up and put it on a t-shirt that's supposed to show up sometime in the next week or two. Uh, you'll note that I did not use the, uh, G that the, uh, the Reds are using, that the Greenville Reds are using. That's because I don't have the money to fight off a lawsuit by, from Green Bay. Maybe the Greenville Reds do. I don't have that money, you know, and I'm assuming that Green Bay has pretty good lawyers. Uh, or at least lawyers that know more about that area of the law than I do. I don't practice that area of the law. Uh, and no, you cannot buy your own. Uh, you're going to have to wait until Greenville puts their stuff up because I don't feel like getting sued by the Reds either. So, sorry guys. Confusing things though, uh, if you look over here, beep, oh, there, there, yeah, look over there, you see what's going on online. Uh, let's say, first of all, let's say this. The, the Reds have hired their coaching staff. They've got a manager. They've got a bench coach. They've got uh, hitting and pitching for Greenville, which is all great. Um, their general manager for the Greenville Reds, however, uh, you know, went and did a speech in front of, I can't remember which group it was, uh, but you can go look at the local Greenville paper. Uh, and basically told them that, well, when the Greenville Astros left, they burnt everything to the ground and salted the earth behind them. Uh, they didn't leave him with any records of who season ticket holders were. They didn't leave him any records of who sponsors were. I'm assuming, probably more importantly, they didn't leave him any records of who uh, home host teams are, people are, uh, which, as this is a rookie league, I'm assuming that most of these people get hosted by in somebody's home and if you don't have that, it's about time to start hunting those people up, and that can be really problematic. I mean, unless they've got somewhere that I don't know about, you know, like a, a barracks built in underneath the, the ball field, or they're allowed to use the dorms at the college. Who knows? Maybe, maybe they use the dorms at the college. That would be convenient. Uh, 
but you know basically he didn't have anything he doesn't uh, doesn't have anything going so don't expect anything too soon because i'm sure he's trying to get things up and running hopefully he won't hire any of the people that ran the greenville astros because while the greenville astros had a really amazing facility the actual running of the facility day to day um and they did, they did some stuff where they had uh you know special events and all that sort of thing but day-to-day -day running of the facility was more like um the bristol pirates right and bristol's a totally voluntary organization so you can't ding bristol too much it's fun to go watch things at the bristol pirates and it's fun to hang around with the people who are there because they want to be there and are doing things on the on as voluntary uh, and being volunteers um Greenville felt like they were people who were there not getting paid and who didn't care, right? And uh, I hope he doesn't end up drawing those people back in because it was really lackadaisical most of the time. And as far as the website goes, uh, as I said, over here you can see that uh, the if you search for Greenville Reds, you get the official site of the Greenville Reds, uh, GreenvilleAstros.com, and then it fills in with Greenville Astros stuff underneath it. Uh, if you go to the Greenville Astros website, if you click through the Greenville Astros website, you'll see that it's a little bit confused in that it says that the Greenville Astros are a Cincinnati Reds affiliate. <laughs> They're not. They're gone. Um, you need to go and, you know, now look down here at the bottom. That's Greenville Reds, right? So it's a blank page. That either means somebody has taken that page and is going to try to blackmail or, or you know, get the Reds to pay them for it, or the you know the Reds or, may, or minor league baseball or Appalachian League or somebody has reserved it so that the Reds can get put on that page. I hope that's what's happened, um, but it needs to happen as soon as possible. You need to kill that other page if you can. Uh, the, but uh, it's just kind of fun to watch. Uh, the Appalachian League still has, at the on their page, on their front page, still has Greenville Astros instead of changing to the Greenville Reds. So they'll get there eventually, uh, but don't expect miracles, folks, because it looks like there's one guy trying to work them, and as good as he might be, um, you know, now, look, hey, man, if you're willing to hire me at eighty, ninety thousand $90,000 a year, I'll come along and fake it until I make it, right, um, and help you. But other than that, I think you're just going to have to, to work it in, man. Um, it And good luck to you. God bless you. Um, okay, the last thing for baseball is from Benjamin Hill. He's always a good follow on Twitter because he's always in at Minor League Baseball and their podcast and everything um, because he's always got interesting stuff. Here is, he's found that on the 30th of May, the Richmond uh, squirrels, flying squirrels, are going to have a Poe Day. They're going to have, they're going to give away Edgar Allan Poe uh, bobbleheads, or as I think he called them, mustache heads. Uh, that's cool, uh, and maybe if I can find a reason to be in Richmond around that time, I'll go. Uh, but uh, I recommend all of you, at least who are Richmonders, you should go to this. And that's it for today. Um, you know, as you can see from the thing up here above my head, uh, if you want to contact me, get me on Twitter at at Lammers K, uh, direct message me or whatever. And if you want to see some of the written stuff I've done, go to minor www.minorleaguematters.com. If you just go to Minor League Matters, it blanks. But to go to www.minorleaguematters.com. That's more of a written journal of my travels as I go from game to game during the summers. And, uh, as I say always here, you know, if you want to leave comments down below, I will try to read all of them. I cannot guarantee I'll answer all of them because, you know, boss expects me to do work at the real job, you know, that sort of thing gets in the way. Uh, and beyond that, if you like this post, hit like, if you like what you're seeing around here generally, hit subscribe. Um, and then watch everything 900 or 1,000 times, because that's the only way I will qualify for monetization under YouTube's new rules, which are just amazing. And, uh, you know, 
until such time as uh, you know, I see you again, I have one piece of advice. Go watch some minor league sports.